want to see what happens when you miss days in the market and not just any day, the best days and the best days usually happen. Yep. After a really, really bad market. Let me show you. Patrick Taylor here, ProPath Financial. This chart is brought to you by AMG Wealth Management, but this chart makes it around a lot. So everyone picks this chart up, but this might be my most favorite chart. That and the popcorn chart, which they have a popcorn chart on here. I always call it the popcorn chart, but anyway, it shows asset class performance. But this chart shows what happens if you miss the best days in the market. And only, I literally only missing a few of the best days completely changes the long-term prospects of your portfolio. So this is right up here from 1990. Let's do this guy right here, right here. This is from 1999 to 2021. Missing even the best days over that period of time. If you start here at the chart, this is investing a million bucks, but you can use 100,000, 500,000, 10,000, whatever it is. But if you'd invested a million dollars in 1999, which that's close to the peak of the dot-com bubble, you can see it was still going, in, but near the peak. So it's not like they chose a down period of time. They chose a time that was near the peak. They included all the other market volatility, but you can see right here, if you just stay put, for 21 years, 22 years, your million dollars would be worth $5.9 million. If you just left your money in the SP 500 and lift, let dividends reinvest. You didn't mess around. You didn't try to do anything fancy and predict the market and time it and sit in cash and then buy back in and then do whatever you were planning on doing. If you just left it alone, you went from a million to 5.9 million just by doing nothing, just managing behaviors. But say you missed 10 days, the top 10 days. So most likely the top 10 days, and right here in the last 20 plus years, 21 of the 25 worst trading days. So the 21 of the 25 worst days within a month had the best trading days. So the worst days were the precursor to the best days. But you know what happens in the worst days? People get scared and they sell out and they put their money in cash and they try to predict when it gets back in. The best days follow the worst days. You just have to, you, you gotta have a little bit of both. But if you miss the top 10 days, you still made money, but you're only at 2.7 million, but you lost $3.2 million potentially by making bad decisions. If you miss the top 25 trading days, you only made $291,000 over that period of time. You have to stay in the market. You cannot overreact. It's a part of a strategy. When's a period of time where you would sell when having an investment? So it's a great question. If you had this investment and through this 22 year period, when would you sell? One is if you needed the money for income or two, if you needed the money to purchase something. But my follow-up question would be, why would you have the money that you need for income? And why would you have the money that you need to purchase something in the short term invested to be subject to this volatility? That's when your portfolio gets destroyed as you haven't planned or prepared properly. In the event that the market does its thing, there's calamity. You need to be able to sit tight. So you got to have money prepared and available and ready to go to make sure that you can take care of those short-term financial needs and goals. Everybody's situation is different. How much you need depends. But if you really want to maximize your growth, staying in the market, if you don't need the money, is going to be your best chance of success. If you struggle with this or you want someone to dive in deeper with you, reach out to me. My website's in below. If you want to learn more, my newsletter signups below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.